It's Mike Tangreta from In Home Trainer, and I'm going to share with you some seated exercises that you can do all from the comfort of your own home. And these are primarily geared for our clients that are over 50 plus, 60 plus. But listen, if you have mobility issues or you know any issues where you are having a hard time getting up, I'm gonna take you through a seated in-home workout, which we do with all of our in-home clients, okay, that, that have mobility issues. So what we're going to do is I've got a TheraBand here. You do not need this TheraBand, by the way, for this exercise or, or for some of the exercises here. But if you do have one, grab one and we will use it as well. Otherwise, I'll show you options where we don't need this right away, okay? So we're gonna start the workout. What you're going to do is you're actually going to raise your left leg, right leg. You wanna sit up nice and tall, core is engaged, and we're gonna raise. We're going to do 20 raises. One, starting now, two. Now you can use your hands as sort of a guide out in front of you, and keep that going, seven, Eight, sitting up nice and tall. No slouching here in this in-home seated workout. Everything we're going to do is going to be seated right on this chair. 16, 17, 18, trying to get your leg up nice and high. 19, 20, great job. Now we're going to take our right leg. We're going to kick it straight out and back. One, two. Good, sitting up nice and tall, no slouching here. Engage your abdominals, try to contract your core. We're just raising the legs straight up and down. Six, you're doing great. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent job, let's switch. One. Two, good, just trying to get some movement in your quadricep, which is the front of your leg, okay? Four, good, you're doing great. Five, raising that leg, sitting up nice and tall, breathing as you raise the leg up. So breathing out, inhale on the way back in, exhale on the way up, inhale and exhale. Excellent job, okay, so we're just warming up the legs. We're gonna take the upper body, we're going to warm up the upper body. What we're going to do is you're gonna take your arms straight out, over and back, over and back. So I'm actually taking my right arm over my left arm, and then my left arm over my right arm. So I'm actually switching here nice and tall. I'm not here rounded back, I'm not slouched. I'm up nice and tall, as tall as you can B for this exercise, okay? Eight, nine, and 10, amazing. You put your hands down at your side, we're gonna come straight up. One, two, good. Three, so here we're doing a lateral shoulder raise. Four, five, excellent, six, Taking your arms straight up, straight down. Seven, breathing through the motion. Exhale on the way out, inhale on the way in. Exhale on the way up rather, inhale on the way down. Exhale and inhale, amazing, good. Now the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna reach straight up, straight up for the ceiling, back down. If you can square up your arms at 90 degrees, that'd be great. If you can't and you can only do this, that is fine. And what we're going to do is we're gonna reach straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Now, if you have any shoulder or mobility issues here, just do what you can, put it through its range of motion. If you can't square up, like I said, you can come back to this motion. Just follow along, do your best. We're doing 10 reps of everything. Seven, nice and tall. I like my palms pointing straight up to the ceiling. Eight, nine, and I'll square one up for the last one. And 10, amazing. Good, shake those arms out a little bit. That'll just actually loosen up all the muscles surrounding your shoulders. Now your shoulders, primarily known as your rotator cuff, are made up of four small muscle groups, okay? So there's two small muscles in the back and two small muscles in the front. 
Those hold your rotator cuff together. It's a ball and socket joint, but it's also very susceptible to injury because this ball and socket joint can go in every direction, okay? So really important to strengthen our rotator cuff. I will show you some exercises in some other videos on how to, sh how to strengthen rotator cuffs. But for right now, what we'll do is we'll actually work the rotator cuff. And what we're going to do is we're gonna sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna put my elbows right at the side of my body. Okay, again, we're not slouching here. We're sitting up tall. We're gonna externally rotate out and back. Out and back, core engaged. My elbow is not coming off the side of my body, okay? So it really, it's like a door hinge. It attaches at the side of our body. And we're just externally rotating out and in. We do this with all of our in-home training clients. And we believe in getting the rotator, at least I believe in getting the rotator cuff really, really strong. Okay, so we're gonna open and close. Now, if you find this is really easy for you, you can grab a can of peas can of beans, add a little bit of weight here. If you have light weights, you can do it. The only thing I don't want you doing is I don't want you coming off your body, okay? So we're going to do a couple of more here. That was actually 14 and 15. I like to, to keep track of all the reps that I do. It's just something I've been doing as a personal trainer for many years. It's just counting and having a conversation at the same time with many clients. Amazing. So we've just gone through a little bit of a lower body and upper body warm up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat that circuit one more time with you, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to raise those legs. One, this time we're going to alternate. Two, three, four, five. We're going to 20 here. Six, seven, eight. And why are we going to 20? You may wonder, we've only been doing 10s. Well, we're going to do 10 per side. If my math is still good these days, I think that equals 20, there's 17, 18, you've got this, 19, 20. We're gonna do the same thing with the leg raises. One, back to start, switch legs, good. Okay, really important here, you don't need to hyperextend your knee, okay? So we can just take it out and in. We're just really trying to get some lubrication in the joints, get the legs moving a little bit here not looking for really a, a big high kick here, okay? This is more just to get those quadriceps working. Good, if you've been counting along, we're at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent job. We're gonna take those arms straight out. We're gonna come right over left. One, two. Okay, so right over left, left over top of the right, four, five, six, seven, eight. On your motion back, when you bring the arms back, you can try to gently squeeze your upper back muscles together or pinch your shoulder blades together, but don't try to, sh don't shrug your shoulders here. Try to keep them really relaxed. You're doing great, 16, 17. Shouldn't be feeling those arms working. Again, if this is really easy for you, you can grab, a, like I said, some really light weights, okay? That was 20, excellent job. We're going to do the 20 presses now, okay? So I'm going to do them all in nice and tight. I'm going to keep my, my hands pointing straight forward and we're gonna come straight up, straight down. Two, three, Four, sit up nice and tall, five, six, seven, you're doing great. Eight, nine, 10, good, you got 10 more. One, two, three, four, looking straight ahead, nice and tall, core is engaged. Your core is your tummy. That's what I'm referring to right now. So you have to hold it in a little bit. I want you to strengthen those intercostal muscles, the muscles that are deep within that hold our abdominals tight. In case you're wondering, that was 20 again. You've done amazingly well so far, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually gonna do a little bit of stretching with you. 
and then I'm gonna take the band for the final portion of this workout. So in order to stretch, what we're going to do is we're actually gonna take that right leg straight out, okay? And what we're going to do is we're gonna just slide down as far as you can, okay? So my leg, right leg is straight out, and I'm just reaching down wherever my mobility and flexibility allows me to go. You're gonna breathe and hold to the stretch. In case you're wondering, you should feel the stretch in the back of your leg. It's also known as your hamstring muscle. And generally, people that have really tight lower backs, or if you have a tight lower back, your hamstrings are generally pretty tight. It could also be weak, which is why we should strengthen them. But for this motion right now, we're, we're just going to stretch them. If you're feeling any pull in the back of your leg, just hold that stretch. You don't have to go overly or be overly aggressive here. You just want to reach down. You'll notice that I'm actually not even touching my toes. If you can touch your toes, by all means, get down there. I'm just actually grabbing the lower part of my shin. Lots of breathing, inhaling and exhaling. On your exhale, you can drop down a little further. Inhale and exhale. Excellent. Great job. We're going to take both legs straight out. We're going to reach straight up and straight down. Breathing in and out to your stretches. I'll try to reach for my toes here. Now I'm not the most flexible person. I'm the first to admit that. My kids are always saying, Daddy, why are you always stretching? And it's true, I stretch every day because it makes me feel great. But I also think I have very long legs, so it's really hard for me to get down some days. But the more I stretch, the better I feel. The more mobile I feel, the less back pain I'll have. And that's why stretching is super, super important. Great job. Okay, so the final part of this workout, if you have a band, you can follow along. What we are going to do, so we're going to take this band, we are going to wrap it around our legs. Okay, now there, there are different types of bands. You wanna just make sure that the band that you have, have, or have, has some, bit of a tongue twister there, has some <clears throat> give in it. Because what I want to be able to do is I actually want to pull out and in. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap this band, I'm going to tie it in a knot. Okay, now I prefer to just hold it up here, but if, if you don't want to, you can just sort of tie it in a knot, make sure it has some pretty good give, okay. Mine is pretty tight there. I'm sitting up tall again. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna open and close. I'm gonna open and close. Really important here, do not let your foot pivot all over the place. So I don't want your foot coming off the ground. If you can, try to keep them planted. You can externally rotate. So maybe on a 45, your feet can be, okay? So they're not pointing straight ahead. They're on a bit of a 45. And what we're going to do is we're gonna open Close, sitting up nice and tall. Open, close. In case you're wondering what muscles we are working here, we're actually working on the outer part of the hip. Okay, and we're working on adductors. Or, apologies, abductors. And we're gonna go out and in. If we were working adductors, we'd be working on the inner part of our thighs. But right now we're working on the outer part. And you're going to come straight out, straight in. Again, I'm counting. We're at eight. Good. Nine. Ten. Amazing job. We're going to untie that band. We're going to grab the band. I'm going to give you two mobility exercises here. So the first one, if you can follow along, you're just gonna pull this band straight out and in. Straight out and in. 
I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together or my upper back muscles together. In home clients, I would actually put my finger right between their shoulder blades and have them pinch my finger with their upper back muscles. Not shrugging your shoulders, relaxing your shoulders and trying to do that. That's eight. Nine. And 10, you are doing amazing. The last one we're, we are going to do is we're gonna come over if you can and back. Over and back. This is mobility for the upper body, shoulders, back and arms. Good, five, you're doing amazing. Six, I'm getting that band right behind my head, seven, eight, nine, and last one, you have this, 10. Great job. We've just completed a seated in-home workout. I am really, really proud of you. If you wanna find more of these videos on our channel, just like, subscribe, share this with friends. We really appreciate the love and support. Drop us a comment below. Check out our website as well for in-home personal training needs and look forward to seeing you on the next video.